factory tours are a big, big deal to me. I love them. My buddy John, plant manager, is going to show me how different materials are made for the application of the roofing system we're going to do. We stop by and he shows us how caulking tubes are filled. Anything moving, I love it. Then my buddy Mike Swartzer, he's the business manager of roofing and waterproofing. He's going to show me materials used in a two-part application to do this roof. So there's a lot to this. So John, show me all about it, and then my buddy Mike explains exactly how it goes down. Someday we'll, uh, we'll get this all together and put it on a roof. You're gonna be John. Hi, Brian. How are you? Plant manager. Yes. ITW does everything. They I did, did my homework. Good. You do everything. Not just the roofing product that Colton James and I are using, but you make everything. We use this stuff. We use this in the field. This is you. Yes. This is all our adhesive. The sample. Of. We have about 125 skews. Where are we heading first? Let's go back and see this sea of warehousing you have here. It's the biggest building you've ever seen. You ship across the country from here? Yes, we do, all over the country and into Canada. All this stuff that you all make? All this adhesive, yes. And how many different factories does ITW have? ITW has 150 companies with about 900 factories nationwide. How do you keep up? Nationwide. Not quite sure. <laughs> I know how I do it here. Let's, <laughs> let's go see some of Okay. It. One gentleman runs it, Manny, puts the tubes in here, caps in there, walks it over there. ITW has how many different products? Oh, I knew you would I say that. I couldn't even guess. It's, it's a lot. A lot. A, a lot's a number. I'm going to stick with a lot. Let's yeah. go to another station. Okay. Love this place. Colton James and I, famous country singer, are doing some roofing systems together. That's how I got to my buddy Mike at ITW. ER Systems. Tell me exactly what we're doing up there. I can put it down, but I don't know what's in the can. So ER Systems uh, manufactures roof coatings uh, of different chemistries. So we have uh, water-based, solvent-based, and the only uh, modified silane on the market. So that's a cross between two different roofing chemistries uh, into one one-coat application product. Gotcha. So I can tell you already that I'm sick of carrying these up to him. I, didn't, I thought I was going to be just a pretty guy on the camera. <laughs> I didn't know I was actually having to do some work. We're doing some. We're doing seams first. We're doing some rust coating first. Right. The seams that we're doing though, it's not a fabric seam sealer. It's something completely different that you have. Completely different. Uh, we're the only uh, company that has a fabricless seam sealer. Uh, goes down uh, about the consistency of peanut butter, and it's a brush grade product. Oh, I know. Over I've been doing it. All of the seams, fasteners, yep. and penetration. Thanks for the tour. I, um, I I see miles of rust proofing to do for us. I see miles of caulking to do for us, and then there's one coat system goes down and there's going to be a billion cans up there already. So I got to work it out for them. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah. Let's get to work. Putting together a sprayer. Actually, me and famous country singer Colton James. Singer and roofer. Guy's got it going on. My buddy Mark, Colton and I doing the finishing touches, how to put this thing together and get it up onto the roof. They actually show me that you're going to do the screw head separately. So there's a lot more than just spraying on a roof. There's different steps, and I'm learning it every time, that this is going to be a lot of work. And it's going to be a hut. It's a huge roof. So let's just see how it goes. Hey, I'm Brian Gary, the American Builder. It's all about roofing today. So I've got the world's best country singer with me, Colton James. He's got an awesome son, Austin, with us. We've got the ER system going on a huge roof, which I'll explain later. And we got the best spraying equipment you can get from Graco. What more do you want? Nothing you more. Any more than this? We're ready to so do this, man. What's our first? Let's. We're behind, and there's a there's a roof up there bigger than the state of North Carolina itself. So, what do we have to do first? Get this thing going. How? 
I'll tell you what we're going to do right now is get ready to move the sprayer into position yep. for the pickup head to be lowered in the 55 gallon drum so we can get this rig going, get some spray going on the roof with the AirGuard 1000 systems by ER. Let's, uh, let's get this thing set up into position right now. What goes first? This goes in. Lay it up. Yep. Slowly. All right. All right. Walk it forward just a little bit, buddy. Sling it back. Come on forward. Oh, you're doing that together. All right. Come on. Come on, muscles. Bring that forward. Yep. Colton, Come on, your, buddy. Do your job. Let Come on, go. Austin. Bring it forward just a little bit. There you go. All right. Down you That's go. good. A little bit more because it's going to lock more. in, right? All right. I think it's going to actually hug the. There we go. We're all in position it right here. Locked. locked in. We're going to lock in position right here. Yeah. For safety. Big rig. We're going to come up with some great go names later on. Big blue, <laughs> big rig. What's that do? Now, this is the uh, return line for yeah. the pump. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is just stick this right in here. Okay. And uh, you got any overflow or something? Comes back in through the pump, returns it right into the 55 gallon drum so we don't waste any material. So, what you. Okay, I got you. Let's spray it up. So, we were actually at the plant where the AR system for film this. 55 gallon drug up with that was, that was a field trip in itself but this is it fire this up and get on the roof and we start spraying all right let's get this thing going let's get on the roof So we're on the roof. I got Mark Lippman with me. Mark, what's your actual job at ER Systems? I'm the Southeast Regional Manager, Sales and Technical. You're the guy, man. You're well, the actual I try guy. To be. So a couple things. This had aluminum paint on it. There was a lot of work pressure washing it off. Correct. It sounds like a pain in the to me, but there's a lot to it, right? Yep. Then you start with the, this is a primer? The rust primer. Rust primer. Right. You got me going to work on the screw heads in the seams with... With, with the HER. With the HER, right. right. Let me see that. We saw, we're at the factory that was being made, right? That's a 20 ounce sausage tube. Perfect repairs. Perfect for doing the faster heads. Gotcha. Uh, that's just a quicker installation method for the contractors to use. Yep. This is the workhorse product of our system. Why don't you try to put a couple down and we'll see how you do. No, you saw me. You said put a Hershey kiss on every one of them, yes, right? Yes, sir. And not go too heavy. How soon does that dry? What if it rains? It takes a total of 24 hours to cure. The beauty of it, though, it can rain five minutes later, and being a urethane product, yep. it's not going to wash off. It has a 500% elongation. Yep. As that faster moves, this is going to move with it. No cloth, no fabric. About one of the most simplest, easiest ways to um, make a roof watertight. Austin is doing the seams, and that doesn't seem any easier to me. So, how much time do I need between doing these? Austin doing the seams, and we put the finished coat on. And okay, the well, what's the ER system, right? You, right? You, you put the primer down, pressure wash, put the primer down. You put this down, you want to allow this 24 hours to get its maximum cure. Yep. Then you're going to come back and put the two coat system on, which they're doing the first pass over there. On the spraying, he should be able to get 115,000 to 20,000 square feet done a day with yeah. some experience. So how much out of a 55 gallon drum do we get? Well, on one pass, you're going to get uh, one gallon per square. There's a little bit of a rib stretch factor, so you're going to get about 50 squares per gallon or, okay. or 5,000 square feet. Tell me something about the ER system that's better than any other waterproofing roofing systems out there that I went into the big box store and I bought by mistake. N number one is, is the products. These products work. This really works on water tightness. We don't use mesh or cloth, right. so there's a certain ease for the contractor. But our products are only as good as the contractors. We're right. very careful about the contractor base. We spend a lot of time with technical training, getting them up to speed, being of assistance and, and value. Well, I knew you were the best because Colton picked you. You picked the best sprayer money could buy out there, the Graco sprayer. So now that I've done, I've gone to, I've gone to ER Systems, I've got the right sprayer, I got the right roof. How long is this thing guaranteed for? We go up to a 10 year renewable warranty. That's our basic warranty Ten system. Years. 10 years. 10 years renewable warranty. Yep. Okay. On, on metal, we've done a couple of 15s. Yep. Uh, we just add more 
thickness of a, of a coating. Yeah. But your basic industry standard is a 10 year warranty. So when he's spraying that on, are we measuring it down somehow? Yes, he's gauging it. You do. You stick right, there's a little gauge in there and you make sure you, you're getting the right thickness. Uh, and honestly, after after doing this for a couple hours, yeah. it, it becomes second nature for the guys. Yeah, right. We also do the horizontal and the vertical seam, so we've covered every potential leak aspect on the roof uh, with the HER product. So rust power wash. Primer. Power wash rust. Power wash rust, right? Primer, waterproof, finish ER system. Exactly. There's a lot to it, man. There really is. All right, I'll catch you down there with Colton in a while. I'm just going to give it help. Okay, great. Long. Enjoy yourself. You're looking good. Hey, thanks, Mark. I appreciate it, buddy. You're getting pretty good at this, buddy. Well, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. So, country singer turns roofer. Been doing this his whole life. Singing your whole life? Damn roofing your whole life? <laughs> <laughs> well, started roofing when I was about 11, 12 years old with my dad and some friends and uh, doing all types of different systems, um, you know, and uh, I remember spending all this summers when I wasn't in school on the rooftops doing different jobs and always took pride in the job, so uh, paid the bills, made some good money, but uh, later, a little bit later on in life, I started to uh, Started playing a lot of the honky tonk bars, paying my dues up and down the East Coast, getting into songwriting at 15, 16 years old. Um, started off in music, five or six years old, did Christian and gospel for nine years, and uh, kind of was the backbone of who I am, you know. But, you know, country music is uh, taking me a lot of places. I'm proud to be doing it and uh, work with a lot of organizations. And, but we're out here doing something that I grew up doing, and that we're putting on the system. And uh, beautiful day out here today. So what we're doing is spraying uh, the ER system, Guard 1000, and what we're doing is we're putting on the first coat. And approximately 16 mils is what we're doing. You see, as I do each rib, I'm making about four passes, right. which is getting all your thickness just right. And you want to get in those ribs real good. And uh, it's kind of like, almost like painting a car, you know? It is so. painting a car. <laughs> you need your roof done, you need a couple things. You need a country singer, right? You need, you need ER systems, you need a great ghost sprayer. You need the American Bill to stand by and help here and there. And uh, you need roofs this big, and you're in the money. So. Colt and I grabbed the Graco sprayer and that roof is done in no time. It's an enormous roof and there's a lot of work to it, but better than that, we get to party with the country singer Colt and James. That's where it's at right there. Okay, so I've got to go do a small job. I'm going to run some ads in Craigslist. I usually have a pretty good chance at this. I need some local painters to do a really messed up little house. So party with him, do a roof, fix a small job. All in one day. We're having a problem finding painters. Went on Craigslist, first idiot shows up, doesn't know what he's doing, we get rid of him. Second guy can save the world, doesn't know what he's doing, we get rid of him. Go to some local contractors and some friends of ours and we hire a professional. I don't know why I um, just didn't do that the first time. Sometimes we get good luck with Craigslist, but um, when it comes to professional services, like painting, plumbing, electrical, not so much. Hey Tom. How are you? How's it going? Good. So Tom, my buddy, and now the professional on the job, color by design, color. right? Do you always take on small headache jobs like this? I take on small ones, I take on big ones, I take all I can get. You don't care? Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter? Doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as my customers are happy, that's all I care about. Well, you're the third guy on the job who said they can tape, but you can actually tape. They were hanging small pieces of drywall with a hammer and screws nailing it in that's the second guy we got rid of oh, yes yeah, yeah. so what's the game plan it's pretty humid in here number one it so, is today's just getting uh everything prepped out and pretty much letting it dry overnight okay come back tomorrow get your second coat on these things and i wish i could i wish i could tape like that seriously yeah. we do have one problem room down somewhere down here on the right hand side there's a bunch of glue or something on there so i want you to take a look at that okay. the um, baseboard's all off so you can just roll to the floor yep. they're going to put a new baseboard on so that's not a problem you don't need a drop cloth so not, not a bad job for you not at all so you get guys up the street you do full-blown homes too right you do I do everything from 1.2 million dollar homes 
down to <laughs> down to decent customer just <laughs> eating them all. Hey, can you fix yeah. this? Because they threw off three people, exactly. right? Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. I'll let you get back to work, but I do want to. Uh, Show you some scraping problems we're having down on another another Sounds wall good. down here. So Sounds good. see if we can't fix All it up. Right. Great, thanks, Tom. All right. I don't want to damage the wall. There's just layers. Hey, Tom, is all this just layers of paint also? That's just paint. I went with my buddy Tom, and we uh, Tom's painting this house. And then I came down to this room, and I saw these. What is this, glue, I guess, Tom? What's your yeah. best guess? It looks like years of glue. So there's a mirror here maybe once? Yeah. And it looks like somebody had wallpaper on this wall, because that's paper. I was going to say, if that's paint, then you got... So somebody has painted over Oh, they wallpaper. painted wallpaper. Yep, sure did. Genius. So. Tom's making me do the miserable part because I'm not good at taping. So I don't mind taking it off because he's going to patch it back on. So he's just going to skim this whole thing. So I mean, it's not that bad. It's only four or five feet of whatever it is. But as long as I don't hit the wall, are you going to be OK to get this, or does it all have to come off? No, it'll be fine with that. It'll be fine with that. OK. As long as we keep it from going down to the paper like that. Right, you don't want to go into the drywall like I just did right there? No. Is that what you nicely just said? Yes, because it'll start bubbling once you start mudding it. Then you have to cut that section out. Note to self, though. I mean, why would you paint your wallpaper? It's actually not bad. I don't know. The, the, the bubbled up wallpaper effect actually is helping me. And I'm making it look easy, because I'm good. <laughs> I'm a professional, right? I had nothing. It's the worst part of the whole job is trying to get to the bottom of this stuff. Jeekers. Well, now I know why they painted over it, because look at it. It's a, yep. it's a pain in the ass, right? That's why, that's why. But it looks like somebody took some compound once, mm -hmm. tried to fix that. So you got drywall, you got wallpaper, you got paint, and then some moron tried to fix it in compound and gave up. Yep. You can see all that. It would be cheaper just to drywall the whole room, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we just go over it and skim coat it? Well, that's what we're going to do once we get this lip off. We can skim coat right over it. OK. I'll be peeling this off for the next three days. Sorry about that. Colton and I grabbed the Graco sprayer and that roof is done in no time. It's an enormous roof and there's a lot of work to it. But better than that, we get to party with a country singer, Colton James. That's where it's at right there. Okay, so I've got to go do a small job. I'm going to run some ads on Craigslist. I usually have a pretty good chance at this. I need some local painters to do a really messed up little house. So party with him, do a roof, fix a small job. All in one day. Show me your magic with the uh, mud. Because I can't do that. Alright, now all we're going to do is take sandpaper, clean up the edges. Anything that's loose, we've got to get off. All we're going to do is just clean up the edges. Okay. Jesus, what kind of, that's not a regular Duraplan, right? I mean, regular mud. This is just regular drywall. It is? Yep. Why does it look so thick? Because this is, instead of the mixture one that you mix, that contractors carry, this is your household one. Okay, gotcha. So if you're at home when we're trying to learn how to do this, this is that's the best that's, way to use it. That's it right there. Yes. After this dries, we come back and do it like the same. Run one more skin coat on it, and it'll look just like our factory wall. Nice and clean. Scrape, sand, mud, sand, mud again, mud again. paint. This is a lot. Prime it, then paint. Oh my god, there's so many steps for me. If you don't prime it before you do that, it'll just bleed through. It will, okay. Through. That's why we have Tom and not me doing the painting.
So I saw my buddy Tom here. Tom the professional, color by design, right? Right. Tom does little teeny crappy projects like this. <laughs> yeah. And $12 million projects. Oh, yeah. The outside of the house, you do it all in this area. So where are we right now? It looks like you got like a lot going on. Right now I've got probably three different steps going. I had the finished product going, I have prepping that's going and getting ready for the finished product, and I have wet drywall mud all the way down the hall. So, so finish, almost finished, completely not finished. You get this is not by you, all this area here, right? This is. No, I'm following another contract. You think you said Craigslist. Yeah, you're following a guy who was probably better at raking than he was at painting. You left me a mess. All right, well, I'll go um, do some inspections. That The one wall with all the glue and crap, though, that's coming along okay, huh? That is. We got that skin. By tomorrow, we'll be able to sand that down and finish it off. My God, good for you. All right, we get out of the way. Good luck. Okay. You still got a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Seriously. finished <laughs> yeah. I mean with me doing a little bit of cleanup yep look seriously the before and after yep from a guy that knows how to paint right yep. so congratulations on another perfect job you must hear that all the time I Th do. this is I one try. of those you came in and fixed other guys mistakes so and that's huge for people right yep. can you come in and okay I feel a little bad I hired the wrong guy I'm sucking it up called you and this is why I called you all this patching and everything that you did just is night and day. Looks like new drywall. Thank I appreciate you. it. We'll see you. Uh, Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. I'm sure you're going to be painting everything for us. Sounds good. Thanks, bro. Thank you. So we had what on the show? Professional painter, professional singer, country singer Colton James, and a professional builder. That's that's a pretty good show right there. We'll see you next time.